Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and for today's meal, I'm going to be making a beef stew. And we've made this several times before, but uh, I'm going to be making this one just a little bit different. Uh, my main ingredients, of course, is going to be, a, this is a little over one pound of uh, stew meat. And I had to get this from Walmart, so I hope it's good and tender. I'm uh, going to be using celery, some carrots, potatoes, uh, salt, pepper, and thyme. Uh, I'm going to be using about a cup of this red cooking wine and some beef broth, a little bit of flour, and it calls for roasted bell peppers, but I don't have any of those, so I'm going to be using these fire roasted green chilies uh, for the peppers instead. Uh, also be using one onion. And we're going to be cooking this in the crock pot today because uh, I do have a doctor's appointment today. I'll be seeing the surgeon that did my surgery. And today is actually August the 22nd. And it was one year ago today that I had my surgery on August the 22nd. So I'll go out there and see him. I'm sure he's going to end up ordering some. Uh, he'll probably want me to have some more tests done just to see how I'm doing. But we'll see what he has to say today. But this will be done when we get home this evening. So first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, meat and open it up. And what I like to do for battering mine, I'm just going to put it in this plastic container. And I'm trying to do it without getting my hands all over it so I don't have to go wash my hands so many times. Okay, so I've got all the meat dropped into this container and I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on top of it. Then I'm going to put my flour in here with it. And then just shake it up real good so that flour will get all over that meat. Okay. So I'm going to let that, let me show you how that looks after you shake it up. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit here for a few minutes now. And what I'm going to do is go ahead, start heating my oil up. And while my oil is heating up, I'll go ahead and cut up my vegetables and have them ready to go in the crock pot. So I'll be back with you in just a minute here.
Okay, I've got all my vegetables cut up now. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, green chilies to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the juice in all. And I'll go ahead and put my seasoning in there. This is just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and some uh, thyme. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the beef broth. This calls for uh, four cups of beef broth. So I'm going to just put this whole box. It's 32 ounces. Okay, and then we'll add one cup of red cooking wine. Okay, I'll give that a stir in just a minute. It sure is smelling good there. Okay, my oil should be getting hot over here. Let me go ahead and add some of this uh, meat to the pan. That oil should be good and hot. And just want to brown it on uh, all the sides. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in two batches. So I'll go ahead and let this batch brown a little bit first. And then I'll put the other batch in there. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, I got that brown pretty good. Let me go ahead and add this to the uh, crock pot. That really makes it smell good now. Okay, now we'll go with the rest of my meat. Let that sit there and brown for just a few minutes and I'll clean my mess up.
Okay, I believe that's browned up good. Go ahead and turn the heat off. And add the rest of this to the crock pot. Now when I cook that meat, uh, I have two of the uh, cast iron skillets. This one we use when we're frying okra or tomatoes or anything that we're frying. But then the other cast iron skillet, we use it when we're cooking cornbread. And so if I have time today, I will make some cornbread to go with this. For right now, I'm going to stir this up real good. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up with the lid and I'm going to cook it on low for at least six hours. I may cook it a little bit longer. And what I usually do if I have the time, I'll turn it up on high and let it cook for about one hour. Then I'll turn it down low for the next five hours. But that's what I'm doing today. I've got this on high. It's a little bit after 11 and we're going to be leaving just a little bit after 12 to go to the appointment. So uh, I should have time to let this cook for one hour. So it'll be about five or six this afternoon when I get back with you and uh, we'll do a taste test on it and see how it turns out. Hi everyone, I've been in there in um, the living room. It took me a little beating out. And when I woke up, this house smells so good. I can't wait to eat this when we come back from the doctor's office. It smells so good. And Maria was able to make some cornbread too. Can you yeah. pick that up and show everybody the cornbread? Okay. It's going to be really good with this cornbread. I love the crock pot. Especially on these hot days where it's reaching almost 100 down here. And uh, you can just open up your crock pot and get you out a meal. It's just, it's my best friend. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'm back from the doctor's visit today. And uh, everything went good at the doctor's office today. Our beef stew has been cooking for about five hours. So let me open it up and see how it's looking. Oh wow, it does smell great. Okay, it looks good. Uh, it definitely needs to be thickened up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, this is one cup of water, and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cornstarch to the water. And Make it a good heaping teaspoonful. And then I'm going to add a pack of uh, brown gravy mix to the water. And usually when I'm making beef stew, if I can remember, I like to order a pack of the beef stew seasoning mix, but I didn't get that this time, so I'm just having to mix up my own. But let me just stir this up real good. This will help thicken up the uh, liquid in it and give it just a little more brown color to it. Okay. Okay, and then let me stir that through real good. Sure does smell good. I love how it smells. Okay. I'm going to put the lid back on and we're going to let it cook for about one more hour. And when it gets through cooking another hour, uh, then we'll come in here and serve some up and do a taste test. So we'll be back with you in about an hour. Hey everyone, I'm back. Looks like our supper is done for tonight. And I'm telling you, this house is really smelling good right now. 
I walked outside, checked the mailbox a few minutes ago, and when I walked back in, I couldn't believe how good it smells. But uh, let me get this over here so we can serve some up. But just look how good that looks right there. This is really going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and get us a bowl out. And Marie's going to come in here and she's going to uh, help me do a little taste test. Or at least she's going to look at it anyway. <laughs> uh, I did get one piece of the meat out and test it to be sure it was good and tender. And uh, it was just as tender as it could be. And the, the way I like to eat mine, I usually take the cornbread and I'll crumble it up and put it down in the bottom of the bowl. And so I'll probably do that after the uh, video goes off. For, but for right now, I'll show it just like this right here. And that sure does look good. Let me go in here and see if Marie wants to come in here and do a taste test real quick. Okay, Marie's going to come and join us, and we're going to do a taste test. And I forgot to tell you, but we do have cornbread that I made today to go with it. And I was telling them I like to take my cornbread and crumble it up and put it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so I'll end up crumbling mine up when we get through. Okay. But it's been smelling great today. Too. It has. It's very hot, Marie, so be careful. I'm just going to get a little bit of the juice and see how it tastes. Mmm, it's got some wonderful flavor to it, and as it cools down a little bit, it will thicken up. Right now, it's not real thick, but it's extremely hot. It just oh, came out of the crock pot. You're right about it, having a great taste. Mm hmm. Mmm. I can't wait to put some cornbread in there and have it with cornbread. It's gonna be yeah. good. <laughs> it's really delicious. Let me try one little bit bite of vegetables here. Don't want to get too much. It'll take me too long to chew it. Oh, yeah. Very good. Great. Okay. Well, this is going to be our supper meal for tonight. And it made enough that we'll have supper off this tomorrow night all summer, right? Yeah. And then on Thursday night, we're going over to Cynthia's house. They're going to have the ginger ginger. They're going to have the gender reveal party yeah. for Kim. Right. And so she's going to let us know uh, what her baby's going to be. She'll actually find out on Thursday. And she's going to let us know on Thursday night. And so... Uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. So when we do Sunday chat this uh, weekend, uh, we'll let you know what we find out, won't we, Marie? Yeah. But what I was going to say, we're going to be eating over there Thursday night. So this is going to be good tonight and tomorrow night, Marie. Right. Even if it is hot weather, it's still delicious. <laughs> That's the reason we cook it in a crock pot, because it was hot. We didn't, well, yeah. I did have to turn the oven on to cook cornbread, but that's not a big deal there. So yeah. don't take but 20 minutes to cook cornbread. Right. Thank goodness for air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. And Marie, looks like she feels a little better this evening. She's still having some troubles, yeah. but she's... <laughs> definitely showing improvement so we will continue uh, all the treatments that she's going through now yeah. and i'll be going tomorrow to get my uh, immunotherapy treatment so it's good that we got this meal already cooked so that tomorrow night we'll have it ready to go on right. marie. Yeah. okay marie if you don't mind hun i'll let you close this video out for us i hope everyone enjoyed watching me make the uh, beef stew and i'll try to get some more pictures after it cools off and thickens up a little bit and uh, and so I can post them on here for you. So y'all have a great week, and we'll see you on our next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin said, we'll see you on the next video. And y'all have a great evening.
Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking.